Hi everyone. Welcome back to Bit Science channel. And today we are diving into the React component API. If you're looking to level up your React skill and understand the inner working of React component, you're in the right place. We are covering some essential aspect like constructor, set state, force update, and find DOM node. Whether you are new to React or looking to refresh your knowledge, this video is for you. So let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. Today we will cover two topic of React. First is React constructor, then React component API. So point of an update in while creating a stateful component because in stateful React component you will be using React constructor. It is not necessary to have a construct in every moment. That means you can have a stateless component also which doesn't have any React construct. Whenever you are creating a React component you have to call construct like this. Third part is never call set state inside the constructor. So if you want to update certain thing you have to do like this way not by writing set state you can do that but it should not be written inside the construct that is the point then is bind event only in one place so we have seen how to bind event see this bind how we are doing it when we created a method and if that method i want to hit by event on click then i have to bind that so this is to do so all the initialization all the binding of data has to be written under the constructor function okay and the fourth part is avoid assigning values from this prox to this state so i may have told you how to add or pass the value this prox to the this state so that also should be avoided so you here you can see what what I did is I am passing my prop name to this this state. So avoid doing this. This has a disadvantage when when you are writing some API call. So um, uh, in upcoming session we are going to write some API or we are going to use the API calls. In that you will be your most developer. What they do is they put that everything in the constructor and they call the API that you can do it but that is not the right way to do it the better version would be to create a separate function here then you write the you call the APIs and then you uh, if you want to get the value from props or you want to update the props do it in the function call not inside the construct so constructor is only for initializing these states initializing the methods and also whenever you calling a constructor you always have to call super or with super with props the next topic is react component api so we have seen one of the api of the react which is called set state but we have not used much so we are going to use the set state first update and find DOM node method. So for that, we are going to create a separate React component. Create React API. If this is not required, this is also not required. Just I have to create a function. So port default last then you have to write react api extend react dot component inside that you can render create a render function render function will return so we have a div which inside div what i will do is to write few statements like for, for before that I have to call the constructor also. constructor props this dot state 
before that you need to write super props pass the props inside date now let's say you have a data which is a array okay and that data you want to show it here so how you going to show this this and array this dot state dot data if you write you will get this whole state data obtain it in p tag now in this data i want to update the data whenever i hit a certain event so for that i will create the button button will have us i would say on click event which will call is start update this is the method and button value you can have update array data this one is not needed yeah so we have a button for before that i have to put this in our app js or in anywhere you want to place it so i will put that in our app js code react api on react api this react api will, will join the other sections now if you check there are errors okay there will be error because this method is not been created for that first you have to put that initialize the this method with find find with this event now you can create the update array so update array you can create like this an array function as well okay so update array will update this value so for that i will take a item which will have which will contain number okay number uh and i will take math random value and also i will add 10 so that i will get 10 value uh so if i do random i will get uh, two digit and the some uh, more uh, decimal pointer for that i will pass this int so that i will get only two digit number with the random number okay so this item will have two digit random number to not go away i guess one digit random number and it will have one digit and that will have two digit so what i have to do is i have to add it in our this state so for that i will say this set state then whatever you have the data which particular value you want to update update here add that value here that's it so if you do that it will update this particular item you have to place it within the curly braces because this is an object for that particular data will get updated not for every other variables item will have a new data what i will do i will say data dot put push this value inside here itself So if I push this value, this will get updated. You cannot place like just data. You have to say this state dot data. Then only you can be able to. Because you this data is not not here inside this. This scope is not there. So you have to call this dot state. So we also have to do it. So what I will do, I will create an another empty array. and i will take 
द ऑरिजिनल एरे डेटा बाई टेकिंग एज ए स्लाइस तो स्लाइट स्लाइस विल गिव रिटर्न द इट विल ऑनली गिव मी द बिगनिंग ऑफ द पोर्शन ऑफ द एरे सो दिस एरे इज माई न्यू डेटा I will now put with the new data or correct way to write push in push the uh, add the new array. Yeah, now it is able to add a random number in my array. So this we understood how we can use set state. So this set state whenever this is called, what happens is. set stays only updating particular element not every element okay let's see in the next method called force update so when to all force update force update will forcefully or when you want to manually update the component so in this the page we have different different components so it can be possible that i want to only refresh this certain component only this component then what i will do i will create the force update method inside is our custom method and then i will call that force update so same we are going to do it here for that you have to create another method this dot force fully update again you have to write find now create this function this will call Force update. That's it. So when this should be called, you can put it in in certain method. You can create another method here and call this method from here and say that refresh component. If you add this, you will refresh the whole thing. So so here you can see this is an array. If I update the array, I will get a new data every time. If I refresh, so nothing is happening, but it is actually refreshed. So, in order to understand why what is happening, what we will do, we will create a random now uh, text here. Seeing what we did for there, so that whenever the page loads randomly, a number is generated. So we'll create random numbers, and we will put. this whole thing here now go do this we have a random number so if i click update so it's actually updating this random also because this state is here it's an inside this state so this the parent div will get updated it will again refresh so this is also kind of refresh happening so second refresh when is happening when we are Now uh, refreshing the component, so I will uh, give you one random number here and here also. If I refresh, see only the random number is getting refresh, not the this state. So this state is not included in the up forceful forcefully update. So this state will remain the same static value. So this is to be noted that forceful update is only for refreshing your whole component. Not the value of your state, okay? And state will actually render the whole div wherever the parent div is residing, okay? If you update, it will keep on adding the new. Also, it will randomly generate this number. If I refresh component, only the random number is getting generated. Hope this is clear. We have random. React DOM find DOM node. Okay, this is simply to say to manipulate the DOM element. We are already doing the manipulation of DOM. These are manipulation of DOM. But if you want to manipulate a certain if data, so how you can do that? In so these are very useful when you are writing them some CSS content. So you want to change the style of the HTML div element. So instead of writing a CSS, you can use this method. Let's create an ID which has adding. Well, 
now if I want to update, I have to create another method called this change component color. I have a change component color. Now also I have to call this method from a button. For that I will also create another button and I will call this change method from here. Let's say change component color. See this statement? I have one div. I want to change the particular element. You know that by JavaScript we can get the particular ID value. So document.get element by ID will collect the full DOM data. Particular div element. So this is for ID array color. Now I have React DOM. So React DOM cannot be used simply like this. You have to import the React DOM. from react DOM. Okay. Now I have a react DOM. So what is what it is doing? It's finding the particular if you can same thing you can also do it with JavaScript also but react is it has their own advantage. You can call this function find the DOM. It will call the node and then you can add your style and color. So I have green. If I want to change, change the background color, right? Background color. If you get this change color, it will change to a particular what you have given. I have given green color. It has changed to green color. So I hope you understood C method update which is set update set state. Next we have force update and third we have react dom norm. And there you have it. We have covered the react component API from constructor to set state, force update and find dom node. Understanding these concepts is crucial for building robust and efficient React application. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to support our channel growth. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend to our audience. Before you go, I highly recommend checking out our next video. You can find the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I am Atindana and you are hanging out with Pit Science. I will see you in the next exciting video.